how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, yeah, we just got done with our little waifu moment. And we're just gonna go see what happens next. And um, it doesn't look like I upgraded to the next rank. Keep up the good work. Yeah, but I finished off them. So maybe soon I'll be up in the next rank. And if you guys like this video, then please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Okay, 0255 hours. Ship's almost over. No sign of anything suspicious or anything at all, really. Why do we even do this every day? You do know what the point of having a sentry is, right? Oh, hey, you're early. But come on now, you gotta get where I'm coming from at least a little. I could understand it if we were posted near a crossbow, but who's going to start a war out here in the boondocks? You never know, right? Perhaps the fact that you've never expected it would make it a perfect place to start a war. Besides, Lieutenant General Vander says we need to stay on alert, and he knows the situation better than we do. Lieutenant General's a great man, yeah. But what are those big shots from the 3rd Armored Division doing stationed in some backward place like this anyway? Do you think that rumor is true? That he got posted here because he couldn't help the Blood and Iron Chancellor? Well, watch what you say. The kind of idle gossiping is how rumors get wings. Fine, fine. Such a killjoy. Anyway, we got things covered here. I want to go get some sleep. Got a few minutes left on my shift, but you're here. And hey, who's counting? Honestly. Uh-oh. Wait, what was that? Something's happening. Well, what's... Ooh. What happened? Did they just get shelled? Who had the order to attack? No one! I heard nothing of the sort! Uh, so Negate needs to know about this- Well, what the- No way. Oh, It's a double whammy! Oh, jeez! An enemy attack? Where is it coming from? No. Oh, Edios. <gasps> no! Get out the way, guys! No, no, get- Ah. Uh... Dang. Poor Zats. I think I know what's happening here. So there's a third party attacking both sides over the border because once people go to see what's going on, they're going to be like, so from the looks of things, this side attacked that side and that side attacked that side. So it's going to look like someone started something, which is very, very bad, because that means a war could happen. But then they don't know, but someone's like on a cliff, like shooting bazookas at both sides. Did they hear it from where they're at? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, that was a great meal. I don't think I could eat another bite. After how much we ate yesterday, I'm surprised we were still able to pack away this much food. Well, you're all growing boys and girls, so eat up. Riding takes a lot of energy, so I'd say eating like this is normal after a day out on the plains. Um, would anyone like more? I should probably refrain. If there's any chicken left, we can wrap it in bamboo and take it with us. Who knows, we might need something to gnaw on while we're out there today. Okay, let me help too. I'll pour the leftover tea into some potatoes for you. Ah, thanks. You really are too kind. You're our guest. What kind of host would we be if we didn't treat you as such? Anyway, here's the grand list of the tasks you'll be tending to today. We still got tasks even though the watchtower got blown up last night? Oh, it's just one. Okay. That's not too bad. I fear it couldn't hurt to give you fewer than yesterday. Feel free to take advantage of the extra time to do whatever strikes your fancy. Maybe go off the beaten path a bit. Understood. Thank you again for everything. <laughs> do you want to spend some time with your grandpa today, Alyssa? It sounds like you weren't able to spend much time with him yesterday. I, um... 
Gwen stayed in the elder's home yesterday, right? I imagine you ought to be up and about soon. We'd have no objection to completing this morning's task without you, if you wish to spend more time with them. But, but! Lincoln, are you there? Elder, yes, I'm here. Oh, good morning. Good grandfather? Norton? Good morning, everyone. Sorry to intrude. Are they about to tell us the news? Judging by the looks on your faces, it seems not all is well. I'm afraid you're right. We received word from Senator Gate just a short while ago. They say the Imperial Army's Watcher has been attacked. Hmm? What? It sounds like it all happened in the middle of the night. And that's not the last of it either. The Republic Army's base has been attacked too. This isn't going to be pretty. See what I tell you. Same day, 8 o'clock. Ooh, both sides are pissed! Is that still alive? That's the real question. Airborne armor division being sent out first as always, I see. I suppose it's only a matter of time before they give the order to the armored regiments too. Lieutenant General, we confirmed the deaths of two of the guards. No! Zet! No! A further three has sustained serious injuries, but we've been able to sustain their condition. I see. Have the mech see to them the second they arrive. Yes, sir. Contact Cinder Gate. Prepare 3rd Armored Division for deployment. I want all armored vehicles ready to move before I return. Hey, you sure you don't need us to help? I appreciate your willingness, but we'll be fine. We're used to the procedure for moving some in case of emergency. The same goes for you guys. I assume you'll be heading to Zenergate to learn more about the current situation from Lieutenant Gander Vander. Not as a decision of Nor, but as a student of Thor's military academy. I will. Will you be staying here, Grandfather? I will. I can use the truck after all. And since I was here anyway, I might as well do what I can to get the seven ready to move. Alright, please take care of yourself. I'm sorry, Elder, Lacken. I feel terrible that I can't help you when you need it most. You have your own job to do. There's no need to worry about us. May the blessing of the winds and the gods be with you all. Take care. We will. We must make for Zenigate at once. Indeed, we need to find out as much as we can about what happened. Fergus Norton accompanied the party. The northern reaches of the North Highlands are temporarily inaccessible, so I can't even go up north. Excuse me, Lincoln. We'd like to ask some questions about the monster you want to exterminate. Sure, ask away. While it's not required task, it can't hurt to know more about it just in case. In that case, we would like to know about the monster itself. Based on the request, it's a type of monster no one's ever seen before. Yes, I can confirm that as of this morning, in fact, just its figure alone is a mystery. What I saw, there was no ordinary monster but a giant made of stone. A giant made of stone? That sounds remarkably similar to the golems from old fairy tales. We have legends of such creatures as well. And now that you mention it, that monster was strikingly similar to what's described in those stories. That's just bizarre. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. Me too. We should probably get rid of it quickly before anything happens. That's exactly why I decided to assign you this task. If you're going after it, head over to the southwestern area of the Highlands, North Region. However, keep in mind that there is no need to force yourself should it prove to be more dangerous than anticipated. Got it. Thanks for the information, Dad. Either way, we should go and get a look at, our, at it ourselves. At least we can decide what to do after that. 
Be careful out there. May the blessing of the winds and the gods be with you. Alright, so we're gonna go after this stone man that's apparently walking around. Are we get a cutscene too? Oh, because we have to bring him to Zender Gate. I'm really sorry to put you guys up to this. You already hoped more than enough yesterday. No problem. Don't sweat it. This must be a kind of breaking news every press for the dreams of being a scene for. Still, it bothers me. How is it possible that both the Imperial and the Republican bases were attacked at the same time? Do you think one, one attacked first and the other was retaliated? Close, Emma, but no dice. We saw everything. No time to think about it right now. We need to hurry. We need to get to Zenergate as fast as we can. Right. Whoa, don't ride too roughly. So I realized that the stone man's in the north, and since the north is inaccessible, there's no point for me to go away out there, so I'm here at Xander Gate now, so yeah. Let's see what's happening over here. Looks like the Imperial Army's 3rd Armored Division, and it appears they're preparing for deployment. Thanks everyone. Let me go see if I can get permission to start taking photographs. Um, I was wondering where General Vanner could be. We need to find him so we can so he can tell us what's going on here. I suspected you might show up. Lieutenant General. Do you have some business to attend to elsewhere, sir? I thought I could just another sweep of the area as a precaution. But never mind that now. You came at a perfect time. A freight train bound for where departs three minutes from now. I want you all on board that train. Finish up your field study as quickly as you can and return to the academy. What? But sir... Well, things ultimately depend on the actions of a Republican army. The bottom line is that we may be mere hours away from armed conflict from the Kaldar Republic. I've already informed everyone in the settlement. Did you not relay? Did they not relay the message to you? Be that as it may, we can't just turn tail and pretend none of this is happening. Lieutenant General, have you established which side attacked first? Guys, that's the central question here. It's still under investigation. You have my assurance that the Imperial Army did not attack. We did not make the first move, nor have we retaliated. However, our army's watchtower was destroyed, and several guards lost their lives. As the officer in charge is in the gate, I have a duty to act. So there really were fatalities. Let's presume for the sake of argument that the damage sustained by the Republic Army's base was in fact deliberate sabotage by their own forces. How bad was the damage? Several of their facilities suffered major structural damage. Their losses appeared to be at minimum equal to ours. Honestly, I'd estimate them to be far greater. But if they suffered even more damage than we did, that doesn't make sense. I'm afraid we've long since passed the point where leisurely discussing our possibility was an option. I will do all I can to avoid full-scale war, but we're prepared for the possibility of armed conflict, and I suspect they are as well. But that just seems so wrong. Hmm. If that's your opinion, Lieutenant General, will you at least allow me the chance to investigate what happened on my own? Guys, investigate on your own? 
As I'm sure you are aware, I know the highlands like the back of my hand. And when someone attempts to threaten the peace of my homeland, I won't rest until I've unearthed the truth behind what's happening. You are serious? We'll do everything we can to help you. I think this falls within the scope of our field study too. No way. This is, this is the people of Nord's problem. There's no reason for all of you to stay here and risk getting caught in the crossfire. A classmate and friend is staying behind. Isn't that reason enough? I'm a son of House of Alberea. I would never disgrace the honor of my family name by fleeing in the face of danger. Besides, it seems like your people have done a lot for my grandfather. Caius, do you remember what you said to us back at Hongard Station? The most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. Hint. It appears you've lost this one, Gaius. Ten General, I... It's currently 10.05. I'll prevent you until 12.30 to conduct your investigation. I will do everything in my power to postpone any potential conflict until at least then. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Then we have a moment to waste. We should begin by visiting the washer that was attacked. That sounds like a good place to start. Off to the watchtower. See, guys, is suspicious. He's kind of like, uh, something's not right. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy, too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, vast mountain peaks, clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. It hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who has state their love for their homeland so poorly. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what can help me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains, and the Imperial Army responded in kind in the Watchtower. It's made me more uneasy than every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now. That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. Aww. That one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. Dang. That's probably why he signed up, too. He was like, I want to protect this land, so I'll do what I must to protect it. Even if that means moving to a foreign land, to a foreign school, to do I that. I you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably 
what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Lisa? Well, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks. Watchtower. Every time I see it, I'm like, ah! It took quite the beating. <laughs> Poor Zatz! <laughs> Zatz is gone! You can see shell damage everywhere. It's even worse than I feared. They've confirmed casualties too. I didn't think I've ever had to see anything like this. As students as military academy, things like this are always within the realm of possibility. Although I hardly expected my first sight of such devastation to be sparked that a night's war with Calvard. This much this may be too much for students like us to handle. No, we've all been in situations that looked impossible before, haven't we? And every time we've come through. We just have to stay calm and think. I'm sure we can do something here too. You're right. True, we should focus on doing what we can. Whatever we decide to do, we need to get a better grasp of the situation. Yeah, let's, fi let's find who's in charge and get the prince to start an investigation. I see. If Lieutenant General Vander has given you his permission, I see no reason to refuse. Thank you. However, I want to make it clear that armed comms with Calvert could begin at any moment. We've got our hands full staying on guard for our enemy position from, from the east. I'll permit you to speak with the soldiers here. Don't get in the way of them doing their duties. Understood. Okay, let's get started. We should start by speaking with the soldiers and assessing this damage. That seems wise. When we've got all the information we need, we can start piercing it together. Right, let's go! Wait, you lived? Zets lived! Ah, I'm so happy. Uh, Zets, I don't know how you survived when you were there on the balcony with freaking missiles coming straight at your face, but I'm so glad you lived. Run, why did you go and die with me? Oh, so he, so the other guy died, but he didn't die. Zets, he seems pretty down. Can't say I don't understand how he feels though. It was right when the ships changed. Rowan came out to relieve me, and I was chattering away with him like always. That's when the first shells hit us. Must have been around 3 in the morning. So it started around 3 then. Right in the middle of the night. I was on lookout. I should have noticed something was off. But that explosion completely took me by surprise. I was so sure nothing would ever happen out here that was something I actually did. I was totally useless. If I just paid a bit more attention, if I'd been a better soldier, Rowan might still be with us now. It's not your fault. None of us could have predicted something like this would happen. You can hardly blame yourself for a lack of vigilance after being stationed in a peaceful area for so long. They attacked you in the dead of night, knowing your guard would be down. I wonder if it really was the Republican Army's doing after all. We need more information before we can say for sure. No, I don't think it was them. There was something else that happened before we came under attack. We heard explosions coming from Republican Army's base. When we looked, we saw smoke pouring from it. What? We knew that both bits were attacked, but did both attacks really happen around the same time? If that's so, it's unlikely that either army was responsible. Who is responsible then? We should keep this in mind as we piece things together.
How's the situation with the Republican Army? Looks like they're really hustling over there. We've confirmed a number of armored vehicles entering and exiting the area. Hmm. We've heard this base got hit pretty badly too. And even from over here, it sure looks that way. Lieutenant General said that the Republican base got hit at least as hard as the washer, if not harder. But we believe they are responsible for that as well. They need an excuse to attack us, but that sure as hell looks like one. Do you really think it's true? That much damage seems awfully excessive. Hmm. They probably just got over Zeus with explosives. Doesn't make much difference either way. If they're brave enough to attack us, we'll blow them back across the border. The soldiers here all seem to have their doubts. But without any hard evidence, we're not going to be able to convince them of anything. We should go and reconsider the possibility that this was a deliberate act of sabotage by covered forces. So some think that they blew themselves up to give an excuse to attack them. But Zat saw everything. Zat was like, nah. Not only did they get hit, we saw missiles from a whole different direction come at us. It wasn't them. This is awful. It really is. It looks like they got hit hard. And to think there were casualties. You know the Imperial Army isn't going to sit and twiddle their thumbs after suffering an attack like this. They have their image to uphold after all. Hey, looks like most of the damage is concentrated on the south side of the building. You think whoever carried out the attack could have done it from the highlands? It seems very likely. But where on the plains could they launch an attack like that from? Well, the highlands are incredibly vast. We need some kind of clue to even know where to start looking. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find something here that'll point us in the right direction. Huh? Is this? What's up, Elisa? Is there something unusual about this scrap of metal? I knew it! This is a mortar show manufactured by the Redford Company! Are you sure? Yeah, I've seen them before on an assembly line. There are only a couple models capable of firing this kind of shell. That would suggest that the mortar used to fire was also made by Redford Company. But if we assume that's true, it seems much less likely that the Republic was responsible. True, why would the Republican Army use a weapon made in the Empire? It doesn't make much sense to me. Hmm. Even if we accept, even if we count for deception, it seems unlikely that Calvert would go this far to conceal their involvement. Through considering the stakes, we can't entirely rule out the possibility. Still, this might prove to be an important clue to solving this mystery. I think that's all the information we can gather here. I think so too. Now we need to analyze what we've learned. First, we should establish a good picture of what was happening when the attack occurred. This seems like the best place to start. So first of all, what time did the actual attack on the Washington happen? I apologize ladies and gentlemen that I seem to be getting late with their freaking voice acting. This is a lot of talking on my part. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm trying. <laughs> 3 a.m. It was 3 a.m. Yes, that's what the guard told us. But that wasn't all that was going on. That's right, the Republican Army's base also came under attack. And according to the Lieutenant General, they suffered even greater damage than what happened here. I think we can safely discount the possibility that the Republican Army bombed their own forces. Then... But there's no evidence that the Imperial Army launched an attack either. All we know is that both attacks happened and both sides took heavy damage. However, as Elisa said, we have no evidence to suggest that either side was responsible. If we accept that as fact, the most likely scenario is that the responsibility lies with another party entirely. So you think a third party is working behind the scenes to revoke both countries into starting a war? Tensions between the Empire and the Republic are always high, but compared to other areas of similar political value, the North Highlands have always been peaceful. I can conceive of no reason either country would have decided to break that peace last night. Exactly. Neither side has any reason to break the peace. They had no incentive of why they would do this. 
both sides are probably confused as hell. They're like, you, you bombed us. No, you bombed us. He's like, no, why would we do this? I agree. If anything, it seems that the negatives would outweigh the positives for both parties. If this were Crossbow, it might be a different story. But here? No way. Uh, now that you mention it, we found something else odd about the attack on the Watcher, didn't we? Something that seems to point to a third party's involvement. Something else odd about the attack on the Watcher? I bet she's referring to this. The weapon that was used. We're talking about the mortars used for the attack, right? Exactly. It looks like the Oracle mortars they used in the attack for old rifle model, and I, for one, find it pretty unlikely that the Republican Army is packing airborne made weapons. Indeed, they have real reason to be, considering the Republic has its own major orbital technology manufacturer, the Vern Company, as I recall. Yeah, the Vern Company is responsible for manufacturing most of the arms used by the Republican Army. And there's the fact that the mortar used here is old. The Imperial Army hasn't used this model for years. I've heard that military surplus sometimes makes it way onto the back market and ends up in the hands of mercenaries. Knowing that, it seems unlikely that the either army chose to use it to cover their tracks. Quite. However, there is far more pressing question we need to answer. What do you mean? Ah, uh, I know where you're going. We need to know where the attack was launched from in the first place. Hmm, that's going to be difficult to work out. But without the vital detail, all our expectations this far is for naught. If we intend to avert a war, we're n we need more than speculation. We need conclusive evidence. Agreed. But the Highlands are far too vast to strike out searching blindly, especially with the Lieutenant General's deadline rapidly approaching. Actually, we may not have to start out search blind. If listen guys will lend a hand, I may be able to help. Huh? What do you have in mind? If I can fact the location of the damage together with the speed and trajectory of the mortal shells, and then take into account Highlands winds, I may be able to estimate the area from which the mortar was fired. Uh, potentially anyway. Are you serious? Sounds easier said than done. Well, I'll do what I can. Are you familiar with the Pacifics, the shell that was used? I think so. It's an old model, but I should be able to give you some rough data. Hmm. That should be plenty. Anyway, let's have another look at those damage areas and start our calculations. Please come with me, everyone. Right. Alright, I think I've calculated a rough location. I believe the mortar was fired from the location the south of here. Using the map as a reference point, this means it was likely launched from somewhere in this area. And according to my calculations, the launch site shouldn't be too far from here. Well, wow, I can't believe you managed to work that out. That's well beyond the level of mathematics we cover in class. I'll enjoy watching Rignan's really sweat it out trying to best you on our next midterm. Ah, just a little applied physics. I couldn't have done it without Lisa and Guy's' help. It looks like we've got a, a nice big piece of puzzle right in our hands. Sure seems like that. Let's take off and start looking. Right. Re and the others reported their findings to the soldier in charge and asked him to relay the intel to Zender Gate. Afterward, they set out on horseback to begin their search. Alright guys, we're gonna have to end the video right here. This is a lot of talking. <laughs> There's a lot of talking here. Ooh. This these cutscenes are long. So yeah, I'm gonna have to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will find out where the missiles actually came from probably the next video. Um and if you would like to see the next video you enjoyed the series and if you enjoyed this channel then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel please and i'll see you guys next time bye